It's the first day of APF, the UK's largest trees and timber fair, and we're on the Husqvarna Arena, where we're joined by Rob from, obviously, Husqvarna. Rob, just first and foremost, how excited are you to be at APF? Oh, amazing. I mean, with a biannual show, I think it makes it a little bit more of an anticipation for a lot of the customers. I mean, the professionals in the industry, it is very difficult to get the time off to come and see all the the manufacturers, the suppliers and things like that. So I think it's really good, you know, to have a one-off, you know, where it's a, a big, big expo mm. just for the professionals in the industry. So it's fantastic. Yeah, no, I can't agree more. And so Husqvarna, as always, has a big area. It's a major sponsor of APF. What are you showing off? What can people see on the site? Well, we've got many things uh, that are new. Obviously, when it comes to the battery system, we've got obviously new battery chargers, new battery machines, when it comes to not just from the urban forestry side of things, but also from the grounds maintenance side of things. Um, we have Joe in the tree right now with the new power ascender, which is a fantastic addition to our battery system. Um, and then obviously we have the new range of chainsaws, which is obviously now the first clutch-driven battery-powered saws that's out there, um, which is fantastic for us. So yeah, it's been really nice to get to know this. Yeah, and we've obviously had a chance to see them. They look great. And for people that don't know, maybe explain a bit about this saw. You know, what was the yeah. thinking behind it? Well, its predecessor was run on a standard sprocket, so it was very, very popular, especially from sort of the top handle range. Mm. Um, but the one thing it was missing was a bogging down capability that a petrol saw has, mm. and that's where the clutch comes into it. So an outboard clutch is what Husqvarna has been famous for for a long time. Um, the outboard is just a lot easier on the maintenance for one, but it's mm. the output and the bogging down, like I said. When you go into the timber on a previous battery saw, it's a lot of stopping and starting mm. when the sprocket is just on a curve. With this one, it powers through mm. the same way that a petrol one would. So now we've got something that is comparable with a petrol machine, but in battery form. So Thank it's fantastic. You. And this is quite unique. This is obviously the first one in the world, I think, that has that system. It is, yes. The first clutch-driven battery-powered saw. Okay. And so then you obviously talked, spoke a bit about there, but in terms of the actual difference to when you're hand-cutting or you're, you're whatever you're in a tree, what difference does that make to you in your work? From the battery side or the clutch? From the clutch side of things. It's, it's the output. I mean, because obviously battery has always had the torque capability because mm. it doesn't have to compensate with the fuel and air. So it's mm. instant when you're on the trigger. But the clutch just helps it cut through those awkward things, things like knots, mm. any of the shoulders on the timber when you're cutting through them. Um, like I said, it's the bogging down that was missing with the battery mm. system. So bore cuts, when you bore in, it's got a heavier output, which obviously helps you get through all their tougher scenarios better on the hardwood obviously with the battery system mm. that was before it struggled with some of the harder timber mm. now with the clutch it can just power through mm. so it's great and so then do you think this is now we're at a level where it's comparable to a petrol saw or? absolutely i mean the predecessor which was the t540 i mm. um, was fantastic it was brilliant for pruning it was also good for dismantling but now it's got the capability to go above and beyond so now i'd even recommend a 16 inch Mm. bar on the saw so it can it can really deal with those tougher cuts yeah it's fantastic yeah. and have you been using this yourself and out in you know out in jobs and so on i mean how have yeah. you found it actually in in, in the wild yeah personally i only use the battery system now with the t 542 i in the tree purely because it's got a heavier output than the petrol one i found mm. and like i said it's that compensation of fuel and air it doesn't have that as soon as you're on the trigger it's ready to go it's good for scenarios like this when it's windy mm. you're not doing the pool starting in the tree mm -hmm. It's just got all the benefits of the petrol machine, just none of the negatives, mm. which I found just an absolute blessing when in the tree, so yeah. yeah so you can go back then to petrol, do you think this is it? It's now the future of... For the top handle, yeah. and for some of the smaller cutting up to sort of 40cc, no, I don't think I'll go back to petrol. I think it's all battery at the moment. Petrol's still got its place, mm. which is absolutely fantastic. Obviously all the way up to sort of our 90cc saw, you still need your petrol, but where applicable, I use battery. Yeah, good. And you think this system then, this this uh, clutch and the battery saw, do you think that then sets Hooksvana Res uh, apart, sorry, from maybe some of the other saws that are out there, that unique system? Absolutely, absolutely. And once again, it does come down to that individual capability that the previous, so no matter the manufacturer, hasn't been able to keep up with a petrol equivalent mm. because of that bogging down that the clutch provides on all petrol saws. Now the battery is completely comparable to a petrol system. Well, listen, I guess you can see the future is now. So, Rob, thanks very much. It's a really interesting site. It's getting a lot of good feedback and I think it's great to see it. Thanks yeah, for the time. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you.